working every single night, doesn't have to be a pain, and the coupon contessa, Nora Capshi, is here with some easy, slow cooker meals to add to your menu this week. Hi, Nora. Hi there. So nice to see you. Thank and you. And I love that we're doing this segment together because you know me so well. Tomatoes, corn, beans, some of my favorite foods, but right. we're all doing this in the slow cooker, right? We're all doing this in the slow cooker, cooker, and it's going to be with ground turkey. Now, I got ground turkey on sale, so decided to make ground turkey crock pot meals. You getting something on sale? How <laughs> unusual. Well, I mean, being the coupon contessa, I'm surprised that the grocery store didn't pay you like $1,000 and give you the food. But all four meals under $40. Under forty dollars. Yes. And, yes. and how many uh, members of the family do they feed? Um, four to six. But you can make this for a tailgating party or any kind of party that you'd like, because you can make it in advance and bring it along with you. You know what? I love it. This is for <laughs> me the the slow cooker for a tailgating party. Yes. Is I guess it's very common. Who knew? Yes. Well, I had no idea. You can make it in advance and then have fun at the party. We're going to start with turkey chili. Turkey chili, yes, all right. Yes, go ahead and ground your turkey and then add your, um, your vegetables and some corn, beans, and um, tomatoes. Now, okay, let's say someone out there is a slow cooker novice. Because a mm -hmm. few years ago, I had I'd never had a crock pot. I, I grew up with one. My mom right. always used one. But when I discovered the slow cooker, it was a life-changing experience for me because I, I could throw in all the ingredients before work, come yes. home, and not only was dinner ready, but the house smelled amazing. Right. So let's say someone is making this turkey chili mm -hmm. you just showed us. How, where would we start? Would we, would we brown the turkey first? Brown the turkey first. Okay. That way you have it to, you know, you have it all done and all you have to worry about is just putting everything together. Okay, so we're not throwing raw turkey Well, into... you can. I personally like to ground it first. That way that I can put this in the freezer if I have to make it as well. How long does it stay good in the freezer? Uh, two to three months. Two to three months, not yes. bad. Okay, and it looks like you have a little bit of a, what is this, a chicken broth? That's chicken broth, yes, because you want to make it, you want to um, flavorful it up a little bit, and, um, you, but you can use water, so that's perfectly fine. Okay, some beans, yes. tomatoes, spices, of course, a green pepper and an onion. Yes. Okay, great. Yes. Now, Italian meatballs. Oh, That no. looks delicious. Everybody loves really good meatballs. These are turkey Italian meatballs. You go ahead and you make the, the meatball up. You brown them up a little bit so you have that nice crispy meatball on the side. Then you go ahead and you take your onion. Go ahead, um, slice it up, put it in the crock pot, meatballs on top, and then your crushed tomatoes. Wait, and then you walk away. Hold on, you gotta slow down here. You just make the meatball up. Yes. How, how does that happen? Yes. Uh, well, how there's you, a recipe. How there's a recipe. How do you make your meatballs? Do you add like a bit of oatmeal or breadcrumbs to them? Uh, breadcrumbs. I always put Parmesan cheese. Okay. And then your spices. And do you, you ever add, add eggs to them? Oh yes, always an egg to bind. Okay, perfect. That looks mm -hmm. delicious. It now, really is. And is this something then, uh, clearly you'd have to make the pasta when you get home. Yes. But these, these uh, meatballs then, those are ready to go and they stay how long in the freezer? They oh, stay good. two to three months. They're really good. And, you know, you can go to the store and buy frozen meatballs if you want to take that out of the equation and just put it in the crock pot. But making your own, you know exactly what ingredients to go in there. Let me ask you, Nora, when you are out shopping for your family and you're mm -hmm. preparing meals, how critical is organization? Because when it comes to feeding a family of four or mm -hmm. more, uh, saving money, how organized do you feel you need to be in terms of you know, buying food when it's on sale, freezing it, and having it ready to go? I feel that when I save the most money is when I plan things out. When I plan meals out and I look to see what is on sale and plan it around what is on sale. Okay, that's very, very smart because you're mm -hmm. not actually saving money if you're buying a whole bunch of groceries that, uh, right. you know, And you always want to buy things that your family will eat. Uh, there's no point in adding, you know, kidney beans to a chili and three of your kids don't like it. Yeah. So you really have to make sure that when you're buying food, you're buying what your family will eat. Likes to eat. Okay, mm -hmm. now I can't help but notice you have this slow cooker ready to go. What are we oh, going to be making today? Okay. Well, I made all these yesterday. I went shopping yesterday, and I came home. I said, let's get this all together. And I was cooking and everything. Uh, turned around. My family had come home, and they ate all my taco soup. So we're just going to make it right now. Um, a pound of ground turkey. I already ground now, it up. Why do you have a bag in here? Oh, because this is going to go directly in the freezer. Remember, my family ate this last night. 
Okay, gotcha, gotcha. So, so normally you wouldn't have a bag in here. Well, I'm going to make this to put directly into the freezer. So I'm going to use my crock pot, and I'm going to just dump all the ingredients right on in, and then the bag's going to go directly into the freezer. And then when I want to have taco soup for my meal and for my family again, I will just put it right into the crock pot oh, I out see. of the freezer. So you're not actually pre-cooking this stuff and freezing it. You're freezing the raw ingredients. Right. Well, the turkey so the, is... The turkey is cooked. The turkey is cooked. H how much taco seasoning goes in here? One packet. The whole thing? Yes. Oh, and that makes it so easy. My secret ingredient is one packet of ranch. Where, now, where do, uh, this is a Kroger brand then? Um, yes. Taco seasoning? Okay, uh -huh. so you run to Kroger. Any just... kind of Kroger, any kind of um, seasonings that you like or wherever you like to shop, oh, you can always... So you can Great. always find taco seasoning and ranch seasoning in a packet. My goodness, you know, you totally taught me something new today. It never would have occurred to me to put it in a bag and freeze the raw ingredients. Now, right. Nora, because you are the coupon contessa, what are some mm -hmm. of the easiest ways to apply a coupon at checkout? Oh, with your store loyalty cards. With your store loyalty cards, you can actually take your card and load coupons onto the card. So the days of actually cutting coupons and bringing those with you to the store pass. How do you load it on electronically? You go to the store's website? Yes. And then you enter your card number. And when you go to the checkout, you buy the product. Preloaded your coupons. Card. Gone. Genius. Save Love money. it. Print, cut. Nora Capshi, thank you so much. And <laughs> for you. more ways to save on groceries and for some cooking tips, you can check out Nora's website at couponcontessa.com.